Pew pew. Hi guys. So I'm back with another unboxing, and um, you guys have literally no freaking idea how excited I am for this. Like as you can see, I even cosplayed for it and everything. So I played Elden Ring when it first came out with my roommate, and I really, really appreciated it. But there's a lot of really cool elements of the game that are that are like really unique and interesting. But my favorite, like one of my favorite parts of the game was actually Ronnie. I really, really loved her character. I thought she was like so freaking cool. So I wanted to basically get the best figure that I can of her. I just wanted like one really, really good figure of her. And I ended up picking up the one that I thought was the coolest that represented her the best. So I, I have it over here. And this is really cool because um, it's actually like gigantic and it, it comes in two boxes. So I'll, I'll put the boxes on the table now so you guys can see. All right, so I couldn't put both boxes on the table at the same time because they're just too big. So I'll show you guys one. But really, they honestly look exactly the same. So I'll probably just open one at a time. And it is definitely very awkward to pull things with four arms, but here we go. Um, so the, the front of the box is just Ronnie and it's basically like, looks like her, um, looks like her official art. I got it out. That was really hard. Um, I actually had to have somebody help me pull the box in the back because it was like way too awkward with my four hands. But <laughs> um, yeah, I was really struggling. But okay, so what's different about this one is actually they did a little like um, they they made like a, a slight like difference here where the styrofoam is actually gray. So that's kind of cool because they, they obviously made it to uh, match the character. And in the middle of the styrofoam, there's the uh, studio, which is called Third Eye Studio. And it's also on the straps too. I've never actually ordered from this uh, studio before, I guess because I mostly just get like anime characters and stuff. So this is a completely new uh, studio to me. So we'll see how they do. I don't doubt though that they'll be amazing because the figure like from the pictures looked fantastic so but we'll see i'm really looking forward to this so as usual they have these straps and <laughs> okay yeah I, I gotta admire my dedication to, to this whole thing, man, because this is really complicated to do with four hands, <laughs> but it's fine, it's, it's cool. All right, so I, I'm gonna open it like this, okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so I see I got the I got the side the the box that has the base apparently. So, um, right. So we're gonna open it now. I can't really see what much is yet, but I can see that I think something broke over there already, uh, which which kind of sucks. But it's okay. I understand how heavy this thing is, so we'll we'll figure it out. Whoa. That is really freaking cool. So if you guys didn't know, there's actually uh, a regular edition of this figure and then there's the deluxe edition. For me, I had to get the deluxe edition and I'll show you guys the difference in both, uh, like the difference between both on pictures. But I, I had to get the deluxe because I just thought it just completed the figure. So uh, they messed up over here because this piece is broken. You could tell it's supposed to be like some type of like chandelier. And 
I can't tell what material it's made out of, but it definitely does feel like metal a little bit. Okay, and of course it has to have like all the antique books and stuff. This is really cool because if you look at it really closely, you can actually see uh, the slight decay on the books. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the Dark Moon Greysword and I literally have no words. It is so cool. This is the coolest sword that I own on any figure, period. Like, nothing comes close to how freaking badass this thing is. Wow, like, the way that they did, like, the translucent part of the sword. Okay, so I found the broken piece of the, uh, like, candle thing, and I'm gonna glue that back, so, yeah. It, again, I've said this in many videos, but it's really common for things to just break because of the nature of, you know, um, how heavy everything is and, like, how fragile resin is, so... I'm gonna forgive it because I just love this figure so much. I don't even care. All right, so here's the base. Um, very cool. I love, 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 love the stone, um, like the stone flooring with like the slight um, green, uh, I guess. I don't really know what to call that, like moss or something. I can't really continue until I start to put everything together. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and, uh, and do that now and then I'll get back to you guys. Hey guys, so I, I put everything together. I'm actually gonna take my arms off for the rest of the video because um, I really don't wanna break anything because like, for example, like I could literally just snap this. So I don't I don't wanna do that. This is what it looks like. And uh, I put I, I, I put it together. So this, this um, lantern over here actually lights up, um, which I appreciate a lot. And um, yeah, so we have the sword here, which actually goes on this like holder. And this is Ronnie's hat and wow, it's like actually really big. So I guess this will give us a general idea of how big the figure is gonna be. I love one fourth scale figure so much cause there's just so many like little details that you can see. And wow, this is really cool. So I guess this is like the back of the chair and there's a lot of like embroidery on here. So they put um, a lot of attention to detail. All right, so the figure is actually about to get way heavier because um, there's like an extra piece here, which is like, looks like a table. And yeah, it goes in the middle. So let me, let me attach it to see what that looks like. The chair piece goes right over here. All right, tell me this isn't one of the coolest figures you guys have ever seen. Like, wow. <laughs> I'm so happy with it so far. So with the deluxe edition, you get like all the cool like little furniture and uh, the books and everything. And actually it also, now that I remember, it actually also comes with this other thing that I'm gonna show you guys. I'm already wearing one technically for my cosplay, but this one's kind of like, a, like a cheaper looking one. This one is, um, it actually doesn't fit me. <laughs> it doesn't fit me at all. There's actually no way that I can wear this thing. But uh, at the very least, it's, it's cool to have. I'm not quite sure what this is, but the texture of it is quite interesting. It's got like a, I guess it feels a little bit like a canvas actually. It's quite interesting. Like I'm not used to this kind of texture on any piece of figure that I've ever owned before. But um, yeah, that's the cool thing about these figures that it has like cool like textures that you don't see on any other kinds of figures normally. So I'm assuming that this actually goes over here. It took me a little bit, but I ended up getting it. So there we go. For the next part, I. Actually, interestingly enough, there's two kinds of feet that it came with, which makes sense because in different um, arts of her, like different official art pieces, there's like either her with like her normal feet with like the broken ankles, or she has like these kind of like ropes on her feet. And now I'm just gonna put the whole thing together so we can see the entire figure is one piece, finally.
All right, guys, so here is the figure all together, and it really beat my expectations. It looks even better in real life than it does in the pictures. I am very, very happy with it. Um, it's just fantastic, and like I love all the little additions that it came with and everything. Um, to me, it's, it's the perfect Ranny figure, so hope you guys appreciate it as much as I do. And um, that's about it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!